Sue Mulroney, Professor of Pharmacology and Physiology at Georgetown University Medical Center. Adam Myers, Professor of Physiology and Pharmacology at Georgetown University Medical Center. Uh, so, NERS Essential Physiology, we're really extremely excited to have the opportunity to do this. It was, uh, we had actually seen the, the book, you know, the, the book before and the original version and said, you know, we'd like to use this, but we'd like to do it differently. So we had been talking about this before we were even approached to do it, and when we were approached to do this, it was it was a, a sign, and it was really a labor of love. We wanted to do something like this and really make it a, 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 a textbook that would be very directed, very focused, have everything that you'd need for allied health, but mainly, but medical school mainly, and uh, really take it to a, a point with these gorgeous figures to really be able to describe the physiologic systems. So it's very exciting for us. So uh, many generations of uh, physiologists have, have, have used netter figures for teaching and for, for learning physiology over the years, and it was um, really exciting to, to be able to put new text to those figures and to have um, updated figures um, in areas where there's been uh, developments in, in the research and understanding of physiological processes. So I think this book um, captures the essence of physiology um, without really being encyclopedic. It's um, a, a relatively brief book, but one that covers the major points of physiology with um, really good illustrations. It's uh, great for visual learners, I believe. Well, one of the things that I think that is great about um, Elsevier and the way that this book was put together is the ample use of um, practice questions as well as um, web resources. Um, students who, who use this book at the end of each chapter, there's a, a bank of multiple choice questions, there's another bank on the web, so um, that's one thing the students are constantly asking us for when we teach. Um, are there sample questions we can work on? And, and they go right along with the book. I think one of the, the things that I think is really wonderful about what I like to consider it as a set, the book and the cards, um, this flashcard idea, I don't know how many years we've taught, and you know, he's taught longer than me. But, uh, but I've taught for almost 20 years now, and I remember from the first time I started teaching, I was trying to get concepts across to students, and I would say, what you need to do is make flashcards, and you need to have a question on the front and then the answer on the back, but, you know, and then test yourself on that, and that's how you're really going to reinforce the material and really learn. And I said this for so many years, and when we came and did this project, uh, we started saying, what would be really great is if we made flashcards. So that's where the, the idea of having the physiology flashcards came about. And that is actually a tremendous resource for the students, because there are no physical flashcards. If you have flashcards, they're more just name this part and here's the answer. These are physiology questions that we have and then have a beautiful picture on the back to illustrate and, and have the answer. So in this way, the students can completely reinforce their material without just reading material over again. They can, they can actually quiz themselves on it and have to come up with the answer. So I think that it makes a really um, and, and, and with all in each of the flashcards, it actually tells where this is described in the book. So it's a kind of a, a uh, dual purpose. So I think that that's a really good uh, use of the flashcards and, and really helping the students learn.